memory. My earliest memory. I have a memory from being maybe three, four years old and lying in my bed, about to go to sleep. And I had this very unusual sensation. It felt like the walls were very, very close to me. Like, not even an inch away from my face. Like, touching me in every way. Almost touching me. And with every movement that I would make, they would shift. And I just remember being aware of the feeling not sure what it was and sometimes I would get the same sensation when I would start to go into a meditative state over the years um, it wasn't until I was in hypnotherapy when I was an adult I was maybe like 21 22 I had a hypnotherapist ask me what is the earliest memory that you have of feeling safe describing this memory to her and it wasn't until after the hypnosis that I actually realized that this memory that I had and the sensation that I had repeatedly felt my whole life was a memory of being in the womb that the walls were my mother's womb the fact that everything was so receptive of my movements was the water that surrounded me and I just knew that I had this this memory stored in my body of being in the womb. Being at the water's edge, and I'm in a diaper, so it's pretty early memory. Um, I just remember playing around with the, the sand and the rocks and uh, it being a really warm, sunny day, and I was just very happy and as I said I was a diver. <laughs> I remember that so it must be an early very early memory uh, we used to spend summers at a I think we lived in uh, kind of a congested area and with five kids my parents like to take at least uh, a two-week vacation in close but a place that we could rent uh, to you know get out and be in uh, a higher cooler elevation and uh, that's it I, I remember just loving being outdoors and by the water the water was always um, a fascination to me and beautiful and uh, it was a lake teeming with uh, wildlife and, and things of interest to little babies, <laughs> to little kids, and uh, I loved it. Falling into a lake and seeing this like psychedelic scene underwater and my mom pulled me up by my hair and the first thing that I said was that I wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And underwater, like I was only five and it just looked like this rainbow psychedelic scene. My first memory. And I really fought hard to remember this memory when I was a kid because I thought it was so cool to remember something so early in life. Um, so I remember like just being a toddler and taking a bath in the sink and I can't believe I actually fit into one of those things like you know my head is about the size of that you know let that sink in that's what I would say um <laughs> anyway yeah I was like I need to remember this so hard as a little kid and I I did I still I still remember My earliest memory was receiving a little hand-painted box that my grandmother had given me with some sea urchins inside 
And as I was recalling this memory, I remembered that I actually have that little box with me right here. And if you open it, it has my name and the date, which is 1983. And I was born in 1982. So does that mean I remember something from when I was one years old? That's my earliest memory. This memory was when I was about six months to a year old. I was laying in my crib and I was realizing that when I squinted my eyes, it distorted the light, like it like split the image. And I remember whether I was like falling out of, in and out of sleep, but there was a, um, a wooden trolley model that my grandfather had made because he had lost his leg and he was like making all sorts of like models because he wasn't working and didn't know what to do with his time anymore. But I remember that shelf and I remember being as young as I was because I was in my crib still. Hello, this is Dave Lang. Um, the question is, what are your earliest memories? My earliest memories are a series of memories and they date starting around 1954. The earliest one is of myself and my brother and sister marching around the dining room table to the tune of Davy Crockett, the King of the Wild Frontier. And uh, I had a coonskin cap and a little, a little pop gun, I think, and we would march around in a circle and to this 78 record. And we did that a lot. Uh, and that was in the old apartment where uh, we stayed for a few years before my father built the house up in, in uh, uh, Upper Saddle River, New Jersey. The next memory after that that really stuck with me was uh, when I was about four years old, I, I built a tree fort and that consisted of me learning how to pound a nail and I practiced on some old boards and <clears throat> my father had built this house so uh, there was plenty of building materials around, scraps of lumber and things like that and then taking little pieces of wood down into the into the woods there and uh, being able to put the nails through the board and into the tree to uh, make some steps up the tree. And this took about a week because I was very, uh, I was only four and couldn't swing a hammer. And um, it was a learning process, but gradually the steps, I got one step in after a day or so, and then in another and another and another, and uh, up the tree I went. And then I had to drag these boards up and my tree fort consisted of two boards on a forked limb. And uh, I was happy as a clam up there, just sitting there looking up into the trees and listening to the birds and I was out in the woods. So those are my earliest memories uh, that I'd like to share. Uh, oh crap. Uh, so my earliest memory, I. I think is um, being in this little like bouncy plane. So like this like little, if you can imagine those like red plastic cars with the yellow roofs that used to be everywhere. Um, it's kind of like a version of that, but blue and an airplane. And it mounted um, inside a doorway. And I think it was the door for my parents' dining room looking into the kitchen, facing into the kitchen and I was freaking loving bouncing um, and my mother was at the other side of the room and I would assume she was cooking something if she was in there um, and I was bouncing my freaking heart out and um, <laughs> uh, I think that's a good thing so anyway yeah that's it when I was a little boy the earliest memory I had is of my brother putting me on the washing machine and going, yeah, but that I do. And he'd bump me in the forehead over and over. I have
have two first memories. I can't remember what came first, but one of them was crawling up a set of stairs that was had pink carpet. I was just a little baby. And the second one is me crawling underneath a stove and getting my finger trapped in a mouse trap and I cried. One of my earliest memories was from, I think I was around two and I was outside of my parents' apartment complex in West Orange and uh, there was this little field and there was all these dandelions and I remember chasing after our cat named Bibi and then I was laughing and talking about the bees because there was all these bumblebees and I was just like, bee, 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 bee. I don't know. And then I ran over and picked up one of the bees and then I just, it stung me and I was like screaming and crying and my dad's like, drop it, drop it. And I'm like, ah. And then, um, and then he had to come over and like kind of smack my hand and I dropped it. And then I also remember going into the kitchen and my mom gave me ice, but then I ate it and I kept on crying a few times. She was like, no, don't eat it. Um, just keep it in your hand to make it cold. <laughs> and then they told me, hey, don't pick up the bees. <laughs> What's up y'all, Princess Ty here. Uh, I was asked by Danny to share one of my earliest memories. So I racked the old brain of mine and saw what I could come up with. And I think my earliest memory has to be when I was probably maybe three, maybe four, or something in there. And all I kind of do remember is vaguely going to um, go to a beach house with my parents when I was little. And uh, it was a giant thunderstorm happening. And I remember my parents were pretty young, so I, it was kind of remember being like a little bit of a party with, with my uncles and aunts and then I remember there being a thunderstorm and watching that um, and the power going out and that whole thing and I think that's my earliest one. Other than that, uh, my, my first like really concrete memory is I, I broke my arm during a playtime accident when I was around four or five-ish I think and uh, from that point on I, my memory is pretty consistent. Uh, my earliest memory is uh, when I was a little kid probably about two or three years old, I was going camping with my mom and dad. And they, my dad somewhere stopped along the side of the road and he asked me, which of the two hills do you want to go camping at? I don't know why he asked this in the first place, but just, I don't know, starting conversation maybe. One of them was very kind of like dry, like dry brush, like grass and maybe even burnt, seeming not green at all. And then another one was very green and normal. And I picked the, the dry one because it looked fuzzy. And I could see like kind of a somewhat of like a disappointment in my dad's face or at least kind of just like, a, oh, okay, uh-huh. You know, kind of thing. And then the next thing I remember from is also from that same camping trip where we're cooking hot dogs on a fire and my three-year-old brain is looking at the ashes in the fire and for some reason decided that it looked like dirt. Dirt and ashes looked similar. So, for some reason I decided I'm gonna grab some dirt and throw it down on the fire where those hot dogs are like on top of a, like a wire thing or whatever. Got dirt all over the hot dogs, my dad got mad and yelled at me and, and that was for some reason memorable enough. So, one of my earliest childhood memories was living at home, of course I was a baby, um, and I was at the babysitter's and we were watching um, uh, James and a Giant Peach, uh, which gave me nightmares because of the, the, the rhino storm. I was just like, whoa, that shit's scary. And the skeletons, that was a scary movie. Anyway, I was watching that, um, and then I snuck off from my brothers in the babysitter, and I had a penny, and I had a bad habit of eating random things. Um, and I ate this penny because I liked the taste of it. And then I choked on it. <laughs> and then, you know, the babysitter was all like, oh my God. Um, and then my mom finally came and she was like, why did you do that? And I was like, I liked the taste of it. And then after that, my mom says that she had to look through my shit for a few days to find it. And she did find it. Um, but that was, yeah, that's one of my earliest childhood memories, choking on a penny. <laughs>
My first memory is running down the hallway afraid of King Triton when he got mad at Ariel and the Little Mermaid.